Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop, version 105, which is now the latest stable release. And Microsoft made version 105 available on the 1st of September, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, once again, just like the Google Chrome browser, which also was bumped up to version 105 earlier this week, um, there's not much really going on in this latest update to the Edge browser when it comes to major new features. And once again, is mainly a security update with a really just a feature update for the enhanced security mode and then some Internet Explorer mode um, improvements for mainly enterprises. But we'll get into that a little bit later in the video. Now, because this is an important security update, um, to double check, you have the um, latest version upgrade. We just head to the menu help about Microsoft Edge. And the latest version and build now is 105.0.1343.25. And as mentioned, this is now a, that's the latest stable release now for the desktop browser. Now, just to mention those uh, security updates, Edge has received 15 security updates where Chrome received 24. One of those is an Edge specific security update. So that's actually for the actual browser which is a remote code execution vulnerability. And then from the Chromium um, platform and project, which the browser is based on, we have one critical vulnerability that's been addressed, which is your highest rated vulnerability. And that is a use after free in network service. And use after free is a common exploit in the Chromium based web browsers. And then we have six high risk vulnerabilities that have been addressed, mainly use after free once again, where the Google Chrome web browser received nine um, updates for high-risk vulnerabilities. So there's 15 security fixes that have rolled out for Edge. One is Edge-specific, one is critical that has been addressed, and six high-risk vulnerabilities have also been addressed. So it's important to double-check that your browser is up-to-date uh, just to get those important security updates that have rolled out for the Edge web browser. Now, just to make quick mention and just to highlight some of the uh, the uh, new features, and there's only really one to talk about, Enhanced Security Mode has received improvements. And um, this was a feature that did roll out in version 104 a couple of weeks ago. So if we just head to our settings menu, head over to privacy, search and services. And if we scroll down to the bottom, um, enhanced security mode rolled out um, in version 104, um, which um, is basically just um, a feature that runs your unfamiliar sites without the just-in-time. That's the JIT compilation to provide added protection. And running um, the JRT less reduces attack surface, making it difficult for malicious sites to exploit. So that's basically, in a nutshell, as I did mention, um, for the Edge 104 video I did post, it just enhances your, your security on the web and you can turn this feature on and off if you don't want to use it. And basically, um, the enhanced security mode now supports 64-bit Windows operating systems. And they also mentioned that additional cross-platform support is expected in the future. So we can expect that to roll out for different platforms as well in the future for the Edge browser with that enhanced security mode on the web. And then um, just to make quick mention of some other improvements, mainly to do with corporations and enterprises, there's improvement to the cloud site list management experience for Internet Explorer mode, um, which um, mainly is used by um, enterprises and corporations. And basically the cloud site list manager, in case you are unaware, is it lets you manage your site lists for Internet Explorer mode in the cloud, and that's for Microsoft 365. Um, that's in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So as mentioned, mainly for corporations and enterprises. But nonetheless, um, you can now restore to one of the last three published versions of your site list. Uh, you can identify gaps in your enterprise site list, and then you can configure session cookie sharing between Microsoft Edge and the Internet Explorer for Internet Explorer mode on your site list. And that's basically it, guys, when it comes to new features. As I did say, um, it's mainly a security update to in um, version 105. And then they've um, introduced six new policies and they've removed and deprecated one policy. So that's it, guys. That's the latest version 105, mainly a security update. And then I would say the key highlight is that enhanced security mode now supports 64-bit Windows operating systems. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.